my name is Medad Muganzi. I've just been duly nominated to contest for Member of Parliament, Igala East constituency. I want to thank uh, my supporters in Igala East for the support so far, and to actually tell you that we are now fully nominated and we are coming on the ground. Um, Igala East uh, uh, people, I'm happy to inform you that we are bringing the much needed change. You can expect a better way of doing things. We want to uh, change the, the, the current state of leadership. We want to, we will be looking at a, a four point program. We want to effective representation where you, a leader should be able to consult. We are going to bring back constituency meetings uh, where the member of parliament will be consulting uh, the people we, uh, with the local leaders so that you can be able to pick their views and also deliver, take them to parliament and also deliver feedback. The second thing that we want to do is to ensure unity of the Igala people. There's a lot of division, conflict, uh, which is uh, based on uh, political camps, but we want to come uh, and unite people so that we can be one voice and we work for development of our constituents. The third is to concentrate on the service delivery. We want to, the, to ensure that services like water extension, electricity, roads, and the, the health services, and, the, and, and the education are brought back to the glory that Igala East used to have. We, we, we have already made the promise of working on the Nyakabizibuweju road with the tea of Humoro to tamak that road. And we have also talked about the different extension lines of electricity to move, like Wera, electricity for Wera, Buyanja, Numba in, 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 in Bumbire, and all some other small, small extensions of electricity that will work within the communities. We want to, the fourth is to work on social economic transformation. We want to emphasize uh, income uh, uh, generation at household level so that each household is able to generate uh, some income because you know that on a daily basis you spend money but the challenge that we are having with our communities is that people don't, don't earn at all and that of course has kept people in a vicious cycle of poverty. So our mobilization will be around uh, improving household incomes through emphasizing and mobilization of our communities to have household incomes. And the most important thing is to look at the four-point program within the income generation activity. One of them is production, ensure production. The second is processing, to ensure that we have small factories within our communities where farmers can sell produce. And the third one is storage. And then the fourth is marketing. That way, everybody in the value chain from the farmer to the consumer will be able to benefit because there is some income at each level. Farmers will get good incomes because of uh, good prices, because there are factories. The, 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 the factories will be able to, to employ our youth uh, and then also uh, market, the marketing bit and the processing will generate good prices uh, for our crops. Then uh, lastly, I want to, I, I've talked about this, especially for the youth who have talent. We, we plan to have uh, a football team, team, which we want to, in the initial, have it in the second division, but also later on, have it in the, in, the, in the super division. And I'm going to do this because being a sportsman, I played for my, for my county football, and I also played for the district. I have guys we played with, the likes of Mukore Innocent, the likes of uh, the Hilares, Agabaraban, and others. We want to work together so that we can put back the glory of Bushen. We used to have Bushen United, we can have the same team rejuvenated, but if not, we will definitely come up with a new team. The idea is to actually help the youth to develop the talent so that they can be able to access uh, football uh, at higher level, and maybe those who can, can even earn from it. So that is what uh, our people should be able to expect. Now, I have a small question for my people, that uh, there are two things. One, w uh, uh, w they say in Runyankwe that whoever wants to kill a rat will always bring what the rat, rat likes, which is a gin, uh, the, 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 the piece of a gin nut. But usually on a gin nut is a trap. So people are actually coming to bring money. 
know that that money they are bringing within the, within the politics and the campaigns is like a G-nut on a trap. You pick the money, the trap will, will, will catch you for the next five years. So I, I encourage them to actually look at views. Let, it, let this be a camp, a, an issue-based campaign. Then, of course, there are those other people who move around, you know, tarnishing the name of the, of the different candidates. I want to encourage our people to ask all the contestants to, to a, a ask the people to talk about their manifesto rather than actually tarnishing the names of those people who are standing, of the opponents. That way, we will be able to have, and, and the intention is to bring back the, the, the glory of Igala East. Long live Igala East people, long, long live Mugans Medad, Omanawanyu, Kandi Thank you very much.